Well, hey, folks. It is getting cold in Tennessee. Not quite used to this. Uh, coming from South Louisiana. But it's a beautiful day. Uh, a little bit overcast. I'm back out at the site of where I was last time, or very near there. Um, decided to come back and, and hit this place a little bit harder. Went back and looked at the maps. I think there's some uh, potential for some older stuff here. I uh, just kind of got to sort through the more modern stuff. I found the Merc and the uh, the War Nickel very near to where I'm at. Um, just thought I'd come try it a little bit longer. The permissions up here have been slow in the coming. I'm still working on a few. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep hitting the, uh, the places I have access to. So I've been here a little while. Um, dug a few wheat scents. Uh, a couple more modern, some more modern clad. Uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and turn the camera on. I popped this, got excited at first. I saw the gold. Uh, but it's gonna be a junker, but it's big. Obviously you can see what that is. It's gonna be a big ring, man's ring. Uh, brass, you know. Would have been nice if that would have been a 14 carat, 18 carat, something like that. But, hey, it's something different, you know. I'll see if I can get some uh, mark off of it, maybe. But, yeah, we'll take that uh, if I can keep my hands on it. We'll take it, and uh, we'll see what else we can come up with today. I just dug that ring uh, about two minutes ago, three minutes ago. So I'm still very near there. Had a good solid 2627 signal on Knox 800. And voila, I see silver. So I'm betting, uh, I'm betting that's going to be a rosy size of a dime. I see reeded. But who knows? Maybe I'll get surprised. This is, uh, I did dig the, the Merc here before. I say it's going to be a rosy, though. Let's see. No, it's going to be a Merc, I think. Yeah! Another Mercury Dime. Man, this is, uh... Tennessee is all about the Mercury Dime so far for me. I'll put some spray on that. Sure I will. Get down here in the grass, maybe. Wipe it off a little bit, dry it. Well, yeah, I'll take another Merc. Let's see. What's that? Uh, 1940. Let's see a mint mark. 1940, not in bad shape either. Better than that last one I dug out of here. Hey, on the board with silver. Hadn't been here very long. No complaints. Let's keep rolling. Well, I just completely ran out of targets at that other site. Um, there was still some trash there. Just a little bit disappointed in that site. So I moved over to a new field. Again, I'm still exploring this, uh, still exploring this permission that I have. Um, new place. Been here for... 10 minutes maybe, um, and I had a, uh, a really solid 30 signal, 30, 31 signal, there's the hole, uh, and then I popped that, that is a big silver ring, look at this thing, I think it's silver, Wow. Yeah, that's definitely silver. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. That is a unique ring right there. Let me uh let me get this cleaned up a little bit and we'll see what it looks like. Be right back. All right, well, there you go. Take a look at that. 
I don't think I've ever found anything quite like that. This thing is huge. I thought it might be costume at first, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, when I was cleaning it off anyway, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be sterling. It's very heavy. That is a very cool find right there. Well, uh, once again, I hope that doesn't jinx us for the uh, for the new area. I don't even know how old that would be. That's just unusual. You have to look that up. Or if you know about what time frame something like that would come from, you can let me know. All right. Well, let's uh, let's keep going. I had a uh, 22, 23 signal, not too far from where I just dug the ring. Um, a little bit scratchy though. I saw this pop out, and that's clearly a round imprint with a little bit of green there on it. And I look down in here. And that looks like something I might be interested in. What do you think? Is it a copper? I hope it's a copper. That's like uh that's like half cent size. Be something stupid. I thought I saw a bust on there. My first. Yeah, I see a bust. I think. Let me, uh. Let me work on this a minute. Be right back. Alright, well, it did not clean up well, at least what I've tried to do here. It's not a coin, some kind of token. Uh, looks like soldier at the top. I, I can't, I didn't bring my loop with me, so I can't read it out here. You make it make out some words. Um, maybe some kind of presidential token, I, I don't know. Fortunately, this side, uh, the bus side is rough. And uh, I just started crumbling off there. So I should be able to get a pretty good idea of it when I get back home and I can take a look at it. Um, but hey, it's, uh, it's a good find. I think it's going to be a, uh, a pretty cool piece, whatever it is. It's not an aluminum token, so it is older. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it in the wrap-up, and hopefully we'll have some more info on it. Let's keep going for now. Well, it's nothing great, but it is my first surface find. I think it's just going to be a uh, clad penny, maybe. Clad scent. Eh, maybe a wheat scent. I'll get it cleaned up. I just recorded because it was my first uh, coin surface find. Nothing great. We'll keep going though. All right, well, I'm starting to feel uh, better about this site. I'm digging some older looking pieces, copper pieces, brass pieces, um, that just have the feel of being older. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm feeling a little more optimistic about this site. But I just got a solid 30-31 signal, um, popped it out of the plug, and it looked like it might have even been sitting on the surface. Let's see if I can set you up here. Hopefully you can see that, maybe. You see it right there? Let's see if I can, and yeah, it's still cold up here. Let's see if I can, uh, Get some spray on this. Give me one second here to get it. 
All right, let's see. That looks silver to me. What do you think, Washington? Maybe a barber? Let's do the pluck. Let's take it this way, you know? Yeah, that's definitely silver. What's it gonna be? Another Washington? Yep, it's another Washington. Got a Washington last week. Wait, is it? What is this? Yeah, it's a Washington. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Looked like a barber there for a second. All right, I'll put some spray on it. Just can't seem to get on the board for 1800 silver. But I am digging silver, so I do not want to sound like I'm complaining. I'm not. 19, you might can see that. 1941. So, uh, guess I could count that as big silver, maybe. I don't know. 1941 Washington Quarter. Got the Merc for the day. Got the silver ring. Shaping up to be a pretty good hunt. And still got a lot of daylight left, so let's keep rolling. I thought I had a clad dime. Is it ringing up? Right at 26, 27. I thought it was going to be clad and I was kind of wiping it off a little bit. And then I realized it's a Merc. Yep. That's not, there it is, a little bit clearer maybe. We'll spray that Merc. Rough shape. Rough, rough shape. Boy, this soil, I tell you what. This is just uh, just some different soil than Louisiana, that's for sure. I think this may have been burnt. I don't know. Doesn't look right at all. Let's see if I can make anything out of it. Wow, very rough shape. Definitely a mercury dime. What do you think, maybe burnt in a fire? Clip it off a little bit on my sleeve here. Uh, what's that say, 1917? Well, it was clear for a second. Sorry, it's just not, not wanting to be clear for you. It's coming in and out. Well, yeah, I think you might can see that now, 1917. Mercury Dime, that's two Mercs for the day, the Washington Quarter, and the Silver Ring. Not too bad of a day for silver. All right, let's keep rolling for a little while. Had a deep, uh, probably seven or eight inches, 22, 23 signal. Thought it'd be a bottle cap, but out popped that. I don't think it's a button. Some kind of clip. Hair clip, maybe? Got a cool uh, sunflower design on it, looks like. I think that's a clip. Yeah, you can kind of see that. I'm guessing that's a hair clip, maybe? I don't know. I'll get it cleaned up. That's cool. 
I haven't really found many buttons since I've been up here. That's an old brass brass piece though. So yeah, adding adding to the uh, suspicion that I'm I'm on the right spot or at least near the right spot for the older stuff. We'll take that. All right, had a uh, weird, I don't know, 18 up to 22 scratchy, uh, and I don't know what it is. It's big. It's uh, it's heavier than just aluminum. I mean, this is uh, way bigger bigger than any coin, obviously. Got something on it. Some kind of medallion or token. Got something on it. What is that? F. With a dog on top? What is this? Let me get a brush on it and I'll be right back. Well, I have it cleaned off and I'm still not sure what it is. Uh, it's got a lion on top with some kind of upside down triangle with an R and a C and an F in the corners. Uh, nothing on the back that I can tell. So I don't know. Some kind of token, medallion. Uh, Not sure. If you know, let me know. I should be able to uh, look it up. You can see enough of it there to see what it is. So, I don't know. That's a strange one. You just never know what's going to pop out of the ground out while metal detecting. That's one of the things I love most about it, this hobby. So, all right. Well, uh, that may be it for the day. Probably going to start working my way back to the truck. Uh, if it is, uh, we will see you in the wrap-up, I guess. All right, well, I'm back home. Let's do the wrap-up. Uh, you know, pretty good pretty good looking board. Not a lot there, but I'm pretty happy with what it, what is there. Uh, let's, let's run through this real quick. So, as usual, some of this stuff is uh, was on film and, and some of it was not. Little aluminum button. That's not very old. Some kind of old brass um, fitting, maybe from a farm implement. I'm not sure about that. A uh, little uh, aluminum token that I unfolded. Not very old. Got some taco money, some modern clad. I think I ended up with seven wheat cents, uh, 40s, 50s range. I tell you, this soil up here is not good to copper coins. Uh, it, it just, ooh, it's rough. Just not used to it yet. I uh, got this ornate piece of... Uh, Possibly a makeup compact or maybe a cigarette case. Uh, if you've watched my videos, you know that if anything has any kind of fancy design or ornate design, I'm just going to keep it because I like it. But that one's pretty cool. I uh, got a Slaymaker Rustless lock piece. That's that's probably uh, early 50s, I think. Uh, let's see here. Got the Junker ring. Threw it in some lemon juice just to shine it up a bit. No stones in there, and I, I couldn't get any marking off of it, but obviously a, uh, a man's ring. Got the, um, some type of maybe hair clip. I, I'm not sure about this. Uh, it's a cool design. Got some kind of indigo blue um, design on the outer edge there. So that's cool. I like that. I'm just not sure exactly what it is. Uh, this piece turned out to be, this is the Royal... Circle of Friends, RCF. This was a uh, African-American fraternal organization created in 1909. So there's the 09 in the center. And I, as best I can tell, it existed until the 1940s. Uh, this was like a, um, a business type of community for, for folks to, to gather together, like-minded folks. Um, nothing on the back of it. I thought that was a really cool piece. I was just not familiar with the uh, the design at all, uh, but it cleaned up very nice. Um, so yeah, I, I thought that was a pretty cool find once I once I realized what it was. So got that. Uh, let's see. Jump down here. 
I'm not sure. I, I read kind of conflicting things about this. Um, in 1817 to 1825, James Monroe presidential campaign token, uh, or presidential token, I saw some... Um, some things said that this was actually produced in the 40s and 50s, around that time frame, which would match up with the rest of the things that I had found in this site, even though I did think that the site went back to the 1800s. I'm not sure this, this particular token, and it is a presidential token, goes back that far. Um, I have found others, uh, an Andrew Jackson campaign token, which was actually considered to be one of the first campaign tokens that did go back to the early 1800s. Um, so I'm just not sure about the actual age of this one. Still a very cool find. It's, it's a, you know, it's a copper type token, not aluminum. So, um, I don't know. I may do some more research, research on this one and see if I can, to get a clear age, um, of when it was made, but still a, a very cool find. Uh, let's see. Got the three silver coins, 1941 Washington, S mint on the back. Pretty worn. Got a, this was the very rough, uh, mercury dime. It's a 1917, but man, it is rough. Pretty sure that went, went through a fire. It didn't clean up at all. And then I think this was a 1940. Mercury dime, winged liberty dime, no mint mark on that one. So three silver coins, can't complain. But I think the uh, my favorite thing of the day is this huge lunker of a silver ring. It's a man's ring. Um, couldn't really find a lot about age of it or design. I, there, you know, there may be a mark in there. I cleaned it up as best I could. Um, didn't see a, a maker's mark. There, there could be one there. I, I tried to loop it and get as close to it as I could, but um, it's three different bands that were soldered together uh, to make this ring. Very ornate. Um, I, you know, I call it a man's ring. It's got, it's got uh, flowers and different things on it, so maybe not a man, a man's ring, but it's big. Uh, <laughs> it will almost fit on my first finger. Uh, certainly fit on my ring finger. Um, yeah, so just a big ring, but it's pretty cool in my opinion. I really like that. I think uh, I think I waited something like almost, mm, if I remember right, like maybe 10 grams. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, it's big. I like it. Glad to have it. So there you go. Uh, good day out detecting. Still on the hunt for some older... 1800 silver. I do have some new permissions uh, in the works. Actually, I have some new permissions lined up that I just haven't been able to get to yet. But I did want to make a little bit of announcement here. I'm probably going to put uh, the the episodes on pause through the holidays. Uh, so today probably will not be one next week. Probably for the next three or four weeks, there's not going to be a... Um, an, a normal episode released. I may do some different types of videos. I, I want to do a video on how I go about obtaining permissions. Several folks have asked about that. I want to do that one. Got a couple other ideas that I may throw together to uh, to keep posting things during the uh, the break, but probably not going to be a uh, normal detecting episode until January at some point. So some point in the new year get back on things. I hope everyone has a great Christmas, has a lot of time to spend with their family during the holidays. Uh, I hope you get a chance to get out and do some detecting. I plan on it. Um, hopefully you can, can find some time to just relax, enjoy the season, think about the true reason for Christmas. It's what I plan on doing. So yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, as always, appreciate the comments. Uh, love the feedback I'm getting on things that I'm not familiar with. You guys are helping me out with some things. Still over there on Instagram uh, at I underscore dig underscore history. If you like the channel here on YouTube, uh, if you think it's worthy of a, of a subscription, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I appreciate all of that. So there you go. Uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we will see you guys next time.